10 mind-bending universe theories that will keep you awake. The cosmos. It's a tapestry woven with threads of stars, galaxies, and mysteries so profound they challenge our very understanding of reality. From the ashes of a dying cosmos to the birth pangs of another, we'll confront the enigmatic concept of cyclical universes, where endings are merely beginnings. We'll journey to the event horizon of black holes, those cosmic maelstroms where gravity reigns supreme, and witness the bizarre phenomenon of spaghettification. Join me, fellow travelers, as we embark on this exhilarating quest to unravel the most mind-bending theories the universe has to offer. If you enjoy this kind of topic, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Let's begin our journey. The Big Bang. It's the theory that enjoys near-universal acceptance in the scientific community, a model that describes the universe's explosive birth. But what existed before? Some propose a cyclical model, a universe expanding and contracting. Imagine a universe collapsing into a singularity, then erupting outward. This cycle could repeat endlessly. Others suggest a multiverse, with our universe as one bubble. The quest to understand what preceded the Big Bang remains a mystery. Black holes, those enigmatic cosmic objects where gravity's pull is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape their grasp. What happens when one gets too close, crossing the point of no return known as the event horizon? Imagine yourself drawn inexorably toward a black hole, its immense gravity tugging at your feet with greater force than at your head. This difference in gravitational pull known as tidal force, stretches you, elongated like spaghetti. Hence the rather unappetizing term for this process, spaghettification. Inside, you'd encounter the singularity, a point of infinite density where the laws of physics as we know them break down. While the true nature of black holes remains shrouded in mystery, one thing is certain, they are among the most fascinating and extreme objects in the universe. Our pale blue dot, teeming with life and swathed in oceans of liquid water, seems a world apart from the scorching hellscape of Venus. Yet, beneath its swirling clouds, Venus harbors a cautionary tale, a glimpse into a potential future for our own planet. Venus, once thought to be a tropical paradise, fell victim to a runaway greenhouse effect, a process where heat-trapping gases build up in the atmosphere, leading to a relentless cycle of warming. As temperatures soared, oceans boiled away, leaving behind a barren wasteland. Could Earth, our haven in the cosmos, succumb to the same fate? The answer, unfortunately, is not a definitive no. As we continue to pump greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, we are, in essence, conducting a planetary-scale experiment, one with potentially dire consequences. It underscores the urgent need to address climate change and transition towards a more sustainable future. While black holes are regions of immense gravity where nothing can escape, their theoretical counterparts, white holes, are thought to be cosmic fountains, spewing forth matter and energy into the universe. Imagine a region of space-time where nothing can enter, but from which matter and light erupt with unimaginable force. Some theories propose that white holes could be the other end of black holes connected by tunnels through space-time known as wormholes. Imagine matter falling into a black hole, only to emerge on the other side of the cosmos, ejected by a white hole. Others suggest that white holes might have played a role in the Big Bang itself, representing the initial outpouring of matter and energy that gave rise to our universe. While white holes remain firmly in the realm of speculation, their existence would have profound implications for our understanding of the universe's evolution and the nature of space and time. The universe, as we observe it today, is expanding. Galaxies are hurtling away from each other, driven by a mysterious force we call dark energy. But what if this expansion continues to accelerate, eventually overwhelming the very forces that hold matter together? This is the chilling prospect of the Big Rip. Imagine a universe where the fabric of space-time itself is stretched to its breaking point. Galaxies would be torn asunder, stars ripped apart, and even atoms themselves shredded in the final cosmic cataclysm. Unlike gravity, which pulls matter together, dark energy seems to have a repulsive effect, pushing everything apart. If the Big Rip scenario plays out, it wouldn't be a sudden event, but rather a gradual unraveling of the universe as we know it. 
over billions of years, the expansion would accelerate, leading to the disintegration of all structures, leaving behind a cold, dark, and ultimately empty void. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, filled with billions of stars and planets, the question arises, are we alone? The Drake Equation estimates the number of detectable civilizations in our galaxy. Conceived by astronomer Frank Drake in 1961, it considers factors like star formation rates, planets per star, and habitable planets. It also considers detectable technology. While not definitive, it frames our search for extraterrestrial life. The search reflects our curiosity and desire to connect. The universe as we know it is a vibrant tapestry of stars, galaxies, and cosmic structures. But what if this cosmic dance eventually grinds to a halt, leaving behind a cold, dark, and ultimately lifeless void? This is the unsettling prospect of the heat death of the universe. Imagine a universe where stars have exhausted their nuclear fuel, galaxies have drifted apart, and black holes have consumed all matter within their reach. In this scenario, the universe reaches a state of maximum entropy, where all energy is evenly distributed and no more work can be done. As the universe expands and cools, stars will eventually burn out, leaving behind stellar remnants such as white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. These objects will slowly radiate away their energy, further contributing to the overall increase in entropy. The heat death, if it comes to pass, would be a slow and gradual process, unfolding over trillions upon trillions of years. As we scan the cosmos for signs of extraterrestrial intelligence, we often focus on sophisticated signals, complex patterns embedded in radio waves or laser pulses. But what if the first message we receive from an alien civilization is something far more mundane, a relic from our own past, such as Hitler's speeches broadcast during the 1936 Olympics? Yet those radio waves, carrying the sound of Hitler's voice, have been traveling outward from Earth at the speed of light for over eight decades. While the probability of an alien civilization intercepting and deciphering these signals is astronomically small, it highlights an intriguing point. The first evidence of our existence encountered by another civilization might not be a deliberate message of peace and goodwill, but rather an accidental transmission, a snapshot of our history, warts and all. Given the vastness of the universe, the sheer number of stars and planets that exist, it seems statistically improbable that we are alone in the cosmos. Yet we have yet to find definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life. This discrepancy between the high probability of extraterrestrial civilizations and the lack of contact is known as the Fermi Paradox. Named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously posed the question, where is everybody? The paradox has puzzled scientists and philosophers for decades. If the universe is teeming with life, as many believe it should be, why haven't we encountered any signs of it? Some suggest that intelligent life is exceedingly rare, perhaps emerging only under a unique set of circumstances that have not been replicated elsewhere in the cosmos. Others propose that civilizations might have a limited lifespan, destroying themselves through war, environmental degradation, or other self-inflicted catastrophes before they have a chance to make contact. The Fermi Paradox highlights the profound unknowns that still surround our understanding of life in the universe. What if our reality, the world we experience as real and tangible, is nothing more than a sophisticated simulation? a computer program running on a vastly powerful computer. It might sound like science fiction, but the simulation hypothesis is a serious philosophical idea that has gained traction in recent years. Proponents of this theory argue that if it's possible to create a sufficiently advanced simulation, one indistinguishable from reality, then it's likely that such simulations already exist. And if there are many simulations, then it's statistically more probable that we are living in one than in base reality. The simulation hypothesis raises profound questions about the nature of reality, consciousness, and our place in the universe. As we conclude our exploration of these mind-bending theories, we are left with a sense of awe and wonder at the universe's vastness and mystery. Each theory, whether proven, disproven, or forever debated, serves as a testament to the boundless capacity of the human imagination 
our innate drive to explore the unknown and to push the boundaries of our understanding. From the possibility of cyclical universes to the unsettling implications of the Fermi paradox, these theories challenge our preconceived notions and force us to confront the profound mysteries that still surround our existence. The journey of exploration continues, and together we'll keep venturing into the universe's infinite depths. If you enjoyed this thought-provoking discussion, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Thanks for watching and engaging with us. See you on our next journey.